Hello and welcome to the Car Carrot channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to service the high voltage fan filter and the fan itself in the 2008-2011 Toyota Camry Hybrid. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel. Check out some of my other videos. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. And without further ado, let's dig right into it. A small note before we get started guys, these Camry Hybrid models from 2008 to 2011 did not come with a filter from the factory for the, for the high voltage battery fan. In this video, we're going to show you how to install one, but what I do recommend you do is pull the fan out, clean it out, and reinstall it. Then when you put that filter, that fan will not get dirty again because the filter will catch everything. So you're only going to do the fan cleaning itself once, which we will show you in this video. And without further ado, let's get to it. So the first step, we're going to remove this back seat. You're going to grab it right here on both side, on this side first, pop out, and then pop the other side. Then you're going to pull the seat this way and remove the whole seat out of the car. We're going to remove two bolts that hold these side bolsters on underneath here. And same thing on the other side. So now that we remove this bolt, we're gonna hold this bolster, this side bolster of the seat. You're gonna hold it from the bottom, and push it up to remove it. Just like so. Then you're gonna get the seat belt out of it. Just like so. And pull the bolster. Do the same thing on the other side. Guys, just a side note, some of the newer models will have an airbag connector at the bottom of this guy if it has side airbag. This one doesn't have it, but if it does, when you're pulling these out, make sure you disconnect it so you wouldn't break the wire. So this is the second side. Let's go ahead and remove that. Now we're going to release the, the seat backrests from here, and then we're going to come to this panel right here. We're going to pull on it to release the Velcro and pull this panel. Guys, now we are around the high voltage battery area. Be careful with the orange wires. Try not to lean on them, just for safety. There's no need to disconnect anything. We're not doing anything with the high voltage. I'm just letting you know, do not disconnect the service plug. There's no need for it. Just be careful around the orange wires. All right, now we're gonna fold our seats down like so. All right, guys, so now, Seats are folded down. There's three clips right here. We're gonna remove, just use a regular trim fork. You can use a screwdriver, whatever you can to get them out. If they break, it's not a big deal. You can get them, they're very cheap. Just like so. Oop, a little label came off. Now we're gonna undo this Velcro and then this Velcro and then pull this whole panel out, just like so. Now that this is out, these are the orange wires that I told you to be careful around. Try not to touch them or lean on them. We're gonna remove this surround black panel. It has clips, one here. One here. And then two on the other side. We need to remove the package tray or this, this shelf, parcel shelf. There's multiple names for this in order to remove this and continue with this job. But in order to remove this, we gotta remove the C-pillar cover. Do that, we're gonna pull the weather strip right here, like so. We're gonna let it down. And then you're gonna grab the top of it. Guys, I want you to be, take note of one thing. You want clean hands when you're working on this because you could stain your headliner. So you're gonna grab it right here, push out. Some of the clips will come flying off or stay in there. Try to track them down. I'll show you how to put them back. Once you popped it off like this, make sure it's popped out all the way. You're gonna pull it out and it comes out. The clips in most Toyota models are gonna be blue or green or depends how your eye color picks it. This clip is very simple. This side goes in here like that. Some of them will stay in there. So before you put this panel back, make sure you have all your clips back. Do you see how this one is missing? I already see it right there. We're gonna go pull that out with a trim fork, put it back here, and we're gonna do the same on the other side. 
All right, guys, so now we're going to remove the package tray. Now, I want you to hold it from here and pull it up, just like so. Once you have it up like this, we're going to pull it forward, like so. Now, we're, gonna, we're not going to worry about the seat belts because they're going to be hung up on it. We're just going to try to get it down as far down as possible, flip it, and leave it. By the way, since you are here, if your uh, third brake light doesn't work, this is a good time to replace it because it's right here. You can just take two screws and replace it. If not, then you're good to go. Do be careful with the wire of the third brake light because it's kind of taped on there. Now that we've removed this, we can remove two more clips for this black panel to come off. I'm gonna use my pry tool. We're gonna remove the other side as well. We're gonna remove these panels like so. You kind of have to fight your way around the seat belt. Carefully, we're gonna pop this panel off. Then we're gonna remove this little guy right here. Then we're gonna pull this little plastic piece out. There is a bolt here. There's another bolt kind of hidden underneath this insulation right here. We're gonna take those out. All right guys, so now we're gonna remove this clip. This clip, you push the middle in first and then push it out like so. All right, now we're gonna remove the vent. You're gonna grab it, pull it down and out. All right, so now we'll remove the two bolts for the fan on this side. There's three total bolts that hold this fan. So we're gonna grab this trim, just kind of peel it back. We're gonna take this bolt out, 10 millimeter, and another 10 millimeter on the other side. Now we're gonna disconnect this connector. We just push it on the side. We're gonna push on this guy right here to disconnect it. We're gonna remove one more 10 millimeter bolt right here. Now the fan should be free. We're just gonna pull it right out. All right guys, so here's the fan. This fan is actually not super dirty. Um, when you are in the process of removing the fan, look inside if it's clean or semi-clean like this one, doesn't have a lot of deposits on it. Don't complete the disassembly, just reassemble the car and you're good to go. If yours is dirty, I'm just gonna show you how to clean it. Do not use water to clean it, because remember, this is an electric part. The best way to clean it is to use compressed air. We're just gonna blow it out like this. And that's about it. Here's an example of a bad fan that is very dirty, so you know what, what the idea here is. Now let's go back to reassembling the car. All right, so we're gonna install the fan. You're gonna put the fan into the vent first and then install it. We're gonna put the 10 millimeter bolts first in the front. Don't tighten the bolts yet. We're just gonna hand tighten them until we get all three started and then we're gonna tighten them. And before we move on from this, don't forget the connector, plug it in, just like that. We're gonna install the two bolts right here. So this is, guys, this is kind of a secondary filter, if you would. This one you can't replace. Just blow it out with some air, make sure it's clean. Usually these never get dirty, but I'm just letting you know what they are. But this is not the main filter that we're gonna install. You'll see that at the end of the video. So now let's install the vent. We're gonna start it this way, seat it on top of the fan. Like so. And then we're gonna go put our clip and bolts. So guys, this clip that we pushed on earlier, you're just gonna push the bottom of it so it would stick out like this. And we're gonna reinstall it right here. This is for that vent. We want it flush like that. Now we're gonna install the bolts for the vents. Just don't tighten one at a time. Just hand start them first, both, then tighten them. And we're gonna do the second bolt 
right here. If this gives you a hard time, pull up on the vent and then start the bolt. All right, guys, so we're gonna reposition our insulation here, sound insulation, Make sure it's sitting right. Then we're gonna install our panels right here, just like so. So we're gonna install our clips, two here, two at the top. Four more clips here. Now we're gonna install the package tray. The package tray, you're just gonna turn it around. We're gonna want these clips to start in first, then we clip it down. Watch, watch your third brake light wire, make sure it doesn't get pinched by anything. go. You're gonna get to a spot where it drops into place. Give it a few hits to snap all the clips back in place. We're all set. So we're gonna install the C-pillar cover right here. You're gonna make sure that all your clips are there and seated correctly. If you have some clips left, you gotta pop them up, install them here. And then you're gonna line up the two tabs, push it in first. Make sure your clips are lining up, especially those back ones. You're gonna give it a snap. That's it. When you're done, make sure this part, the back part toward the glass is straight. They're very common to stay popped up on one side. Just give it a good couple hits. Make sure those cl clips are fully engaged and you're good to go. And then do the same on the other side. We're gonna reinstall our weather seal. Do the same for the other side. So we're gonna install this big cover now. Start it like so. Just like that. This cover will have three clips. Install three clips, one, Two and three. Put the Velcro back. Now let's install the side bolsters. This one is gonna be kind of a fight, so be ready for it. There's this little clip that needs to go in here. Little trick for that is, push the seat up, clip it in place. This will give you kind of a prying point. I'm gonna get the seat belt out. Install the seat belt into this so it's not in your way, then push it in. You're gonna want to clip the top first. Just like that. Guys, when you're done with this, like I told you, this is gonna be a fight, so be patient with this. To verify your work, you're gonna pull at the top of this, making sure that it's clipped in, because you could have this in but not engaged in that hook. So take your time with this, be patient. It can get frustrating, but you'll have two of them, so be really patient. When you're done, you're gonna rinse, don't forget the 12 millimeter bolt at the bottom, and you're done with this. Last but not least, we're gonna install this last cover right here. This has a Velcro, it just sits down, and the floor mat goes over it. So now we're gonna install the back seat. One thing I will tell you about the back seat, pull out the seat belt buckles before you clip the seat in. Pull them out like this. Then you're gonna push the seat. You're gonna feel the pins engage. It's like so. When you're done, clip, clip, and you're all set. And guys, after all this hard work, 
Here's the fan filter. It's just the shape of the vent. You're gonna clip it in. Just like so. And voila, you're done. Whenever you wanna remove it, you're just gonna grab it from the side, pull it out, clean it. This is reusable. Don't go buying one every time. And you'll never have an issue with this. All right, guys, so now you know how to clean the fan. It's a little bit of a complicated process, but the good thing is you only do this once. You install that filter that I told you about, and you should have no issues. This, remember, guys, I say this in every hybrid video that I talk about. This is the number one cause for premature high voltage battery failure in Toyota hybrids. I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something new. If you liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. May the Lord bless you and keep you, and you have a wonderful day.